Okay, so I've been hearing a lot of news on DeAndre Russell, how it's wrong for the Lakers to treat him this way because they've been averaging 30 for the past few weeks and all that. But in my honest opinion, I don't feel bad for DeAndre Russell because if he played better in the playoffs or be consistent this whole year, he wouldn't be the one getting traded. It would be Austin Reeves and it wouldn't be close or it would be Rui and it wouldn't be close. But because he's been playing good the last what, four or five games, they supposed to forgive everything else he did. And to be honest with you, the Lakers don't. I've been saying put Bron at point guard. 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 Move AG to the four. Get a center. So, like, I'm not about to stretch out because I feel bad for Daniel Russell because he's always getting moved because he's balling right now. I can care less, bro. I can really care less. To be honest, if I'm the Lakers, why wouldn't I want more defense? Why would I not more, want more wing death? And since I get rid of D'Angelo Russell that doesn't perform in the playoffs, goodbye. Like, I'm not about to feel bad. I'm not about to cry. Like, feel bad that he's crying on the bench. He's giving his all. What was his all in the playoffs? What was his game in the playoffs? Like, I'm not about to feel bad. I'm not about to boo-hoo. Now, because he's playing up to standard now, you had all that time, bro. I'm not about to. Yeah. To be honest, even if they trade D'Lo, I really see the Lakers winning a chip this year. Nothing's going to put them over the hump to be better than these teams in general to me. So they can do all this trade, try to work their roster, but it's still not going to be enough to win the chip. In, in my opinion, it might not even be enough to get them out the West. It might not even be the second round, to be honest. So trade D'Lo do make them better, but. I mean, it all comes down to how good LeBron and AD are and their, their depth. They won in 2020 because of depth. They're going to continue to only win if they depth play good. But the Suns are doing so good. Video on that out later on the Suns role players. They're playing amazing. But, yeah, they got to, they got to, uh, they bench unit got to play better. Their second unit got to play better. Their role players got to play better. I'm really impressed with Austin Reeves this year. I'm really impressed. LeBron looks good for his age. He is not aging. The PDs calling PDs, PDs. Sorry, no, I'm lying. He's just an unbelievable human being. Like that, he's a work. He's a work of art. No homo, not trying to glaze. But he needs to get studied by like the FBI or the CIA. Someone like <laughs> don't glaze it, but yeah, bro. But let's go over the of Russell last four games. 34, 39, 29. Even balling. Demon balling. He's trying to make sure he gets that spot on that next team he's about to get traded to. I'm trading him either way from the Lakers. But he's been balling. I'm not going to lie to you. Hopefully he can lead them to some wins before he gets traded at the deadline, most likely, to the Hawks. Most likely. If I'm the Hawks, I don't know why I would be interesting, interested in the Lakers trade. I don't need another guard. I want a wing or a big man. So, I don't even know why they would want him. So, if I'm the Lakers, I'm not putting my all into getting them from getting Delonte Murray. So, I don't know what the Lakers should done. I got to make a, I got to think about it. If I'm the Lakers, I'm going to just go out and get some depth like the Suns did. Actually, I'm lying. I'm really lying. If I'm the Lakers, I'm going out to get a center for 80 to just play the four again. That's what he wants. That's how he won in 2020. Don't change it up. Let him play the, tw- the four. Fire Darvin him. Fire him. And come on, right? Let's get it, bro. LeBron trying to get that fifth ring.